What is up? What is up? How you doing, everybody? Happy Thursday. Welcome to another Origin PC live build. One sec. Hmm? Hmm? Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out. Good to see you all here. Love you all. Make sure John doesn't mute his mic. I think he's good. I think he's good. Guys, for you first timers here, first of all, welcome. My name is Koozie. That is at Koozie L. Joined as always by my man, John Tifford. That is J O N T I F F O R D on Instagram. Make sure to shoot him a follow. May the 4th be with you, all of you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out. My name is Koozie. Did I say that already? I'm sorry. I'm getting like texts from people. They're saying our title hasn't changed. Is our title? Can you guys refresh and see if our title's up to date? It looks like it's up to date on my end. I have no idea what's going on. But I've got texts from everyone saying it still says eat my diction. It shouldn't. It should say the hacksmiths. Can any can anyone confirm with us, please? Please confirm with me on the uh, on the on the Twitch verse. But thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for tuning in. Happy to see you all. Hacksmith, what is up, my man? Good to see you. So a little bit before we start, if it's your first time here, guys, make sure to tag at OriginPC um, when you're saying something in chat. If you want me to read it, I'll be more than happy to answer every question. I'll try to get to every question, but if I cannot, you know, just let me know. Just let me know. We're good. It's not the Hacksmith. It says the Hacksmith. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting mixed. It's, it's updated. Eat my diction stuff. I'm getting mixed reviews in chat. You know what? I'm just going to go with it's updated. I, I'm going to believe that. That's what I like. Um, but thank you guys for being here again. Um, tag at OriginBC. Remember, 100% of our proceeds here, whether it be from subscriptions or donations, 100% goes directly to St. Jude's. You're never required to donate or sub, but if you do, know that it's going to a good place. So thank you. For me, it's fine. I'm new. Say hi, please. What's up, Phantom Popcorn? Hi. Hi, man. How you doing? Let's go over a little bit of news. Sh shall we? First of all, let's talk about our May promo. Jump to light speed with forceful upgrades. Huh? I like that. It's May the 4th. We get, we, you get it? Everyone get it? Are we good? All right, you guys got it. So purchase select desktops or select 10 series E on laptops and you get a free Samsung 800, 850, 250 gigabyte Evo SSD, free digital copy of Fort Honor or Ghost Recon Wildlands with select NVIDIA GPUs. You get a free digital Steam key for Shadow of the Avatar, awesome game by Mr. Richard Garriott himself, makers of Ultima Online. Free $100 try on Worlds in-game credit. Free digital copy of Halo Wars 2, Euro Truck Simulator 2, and Dreadnought in-game credit with select CPUs. So check that out. Check that out sometime, will you? Um, tomorrow, tune in for a mystery live build. Ooh, intriguing. The only hint I can give you about tomorrow's live build is that it does include a giveaway. So tune in tomorrow to find out what that's all about. I can tell you it is for a big, very popular name. Something you guys probably won't even expect. It's pretty exciting, so I hope to see some of you guys there. It's going to be tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST. Make sure to join us. Uh, speaking of giveaways, we have one going on right now. Uh, our boys over at Big Picture Games are finally uh, launching Darkfall Rise of Agon tomorrow. Um, no, no launch time for the servers yet, but go check them out, riseofagon.com. Um, or sign up for the giveaway. You can type exclamation point giveaway in chat to find the link. Make sure to sign up. You just have to follow all our social medias, and you get a chance of winning a Kronos gaming PC, the one you see there pictured. You also get a chance of winning a $50 gift card for Domino's. Big thank you to Domino's Pizza for hooking it up with gift cards for this giveaway. Domino's entering the gaming space with force. Much love to our pizza brethren. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. Yeah, I said it. I said it. All right. Here, let me type it in in chat for you guys. Oh, 
I'll spam it. I'll spam it so you guys can see. Everyone sign up. Everyone sign up. You get a chance to win a desktop. You get a chance to win game time for Rise of Agon. You get a chance to win yourself pizza. What's better than gaming and pizza? Not much. I can tell you not much. So sign up now. Good luck to each and every one of you. We're going to announce the giveaway in, in two weeks, I believe. Hacksmith is in chat right now. He will be joining us in voice comms a little later on in the stream. So stay tuned. Um, also, some more news. Do you guys have Amazon Prime? Sell out mode engaged. Do you guys do you guys have Amazon Prime? Cool. If you have Amazon Prime and you got Twitch, you could link the two, get yourself Twitch Prime, that gives you a free subscription. If you're like, eh, you know what, I'm not big on Twitch, I'm not really gonna sub to anyone, why not sub to Origin PC? Why sub to Origin PC? Because our proceeds go to St. Jude. So by subbing to us, you're actually donating to a great, great cause. If you're not going to be using that free sub for anything else, then use it here. Support the children of St. Jude's. Can we get some hashtag for the kids in chat, please? To show our support for the children. Much love. Much love. Let's talk about the specs. Let's go back to this camera so you guys can see all the parts there. Ooh, ooh, we're going to start with the desktop first. Obviously, so let's talk about them specs first. You can also type in exclamation point prime, guys. If you type in exclamation point prime, it'll link you to our Twitch Prime page with more details on how to link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and get all that squared away. So let's talk with the, the specs. Hacksmith's L-Class desktop. The L-Class is our pro line. It's part of our pro line. It's a black millennium case. As you can see pictured there, and you can see on the bottom right in the live video. Fantastic, right? Yes, the giveaway is worldwide, guys. The giveaway is worldwide. Sign up. Sign up for the worldwide giveaway. Um, EVGA Supernova 1600 watt power supply. Big thanks. Big ups to EVGA for hooking it up with that. ASRock X99 Workstation E motherboard. Uh, Frostbite 360 liquid cooling. And Intel Xeon E5 2680 V4. That is a 14 core processor big giant thank you to intel for supporting us with that for this build um huge thanks to intel guys if you don't know about this new tiny startup company called intel uh they're pretty cool um they make processors i know that you know they're new maybe no one's heard of them so let me just tell you a little bit about them uh they make these they make uh, these processor things that power your PC they're super important um, you know they just started out so give them a shout out support them you probably haven't heard of them yet but you're hearing about them right now first time first time here obvious troll obvious troll a dual 12 gigabyte Nvidia Titan X Pascals Kingston 16 gigabyte oh it's times four so it's 64 gigabytes 2400 megahertz ECC RAM. Very confusing how that was said <laughs> there. I'm sorry. It's 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, two 10 terabyte Seagate Barracuda Pros backup storage drive. That's 20 terabytes of, of space. Big thank you to Seagate for hooking us up with those bad boys. 500 gigabyte Samsung 960 Evo NVMe M.2 SSD times two. So those are going to go probably rated. Is it two of them? Do you see no. two of them there? It's no. just one, right? Yeah, it's just one. I thought it was just one. No. All right, so just one. Sorry about that. Mix up there. A 10 gigabyte StarTech PCIe network card. Powerful ass network card. Only the best for the Hacksmith. Windows 10 Home or GPC Wooden Crate. Our standard one-year warranty. And, of course, our 24-hour lifetime customer support that comes with all our systems. Shameless plug. Much love, much love. Yeah, that is that is the real Hacksmith. Didn't I, oh, I thought I modded him already. My bad. There they go. Boom. Modded. Modded. The sword is yours, Hacksmith. Now let's talk about his laptop because it's not it's not just one, baby. We're doing a two-in-one build today. So this is the Hacksmith L class. Now let's talk about his pro desktop or pro laptop. The Hacksmith NS17 notebook, we which we'll also be building. Whoa, nice, nice camera work, John. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. There it is. There's the laptop. That's the black NS17 notebook. It's got a 1440 120 120 hertz G-Sync display. Intel Core i7 7700K. A single 8 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. That is a desktop grade 1080. So same desktop grade 
um, GPU that you'd find in a standard gaming PC, you're going to find the same power in this tiny, tiny laptop. Fantastic stuff. Also, 64 gigabytes of 2400 megahertz RAM from Kingston HyperX. 500 gigabytes Samsung 960 Evo NVMe M.2 SSD. Windows 10 Home, wooden crate armor, standard one-year warranty, and the 24-hour lifetime customer support. DX Racer in the house. What is up? What is up, DX Racer? Good to see you all. Guys, again, one more time, for those of you just joining us, biggest thing, we have a giveaway that we just started, and we want everyone to sign up and have a chance to win this awesome desktop that we're giving. Check out this awesome game, Darkfall Rise of Agon, which launches tomorrow, which I want everyone in here to check out. It's a fantastic MMORPG. If you're into PvP, if you're into being able to do whatever you want in a video game, check this out. Big thank you again to Domino's Pizza for supplying us with gift cards, also part of this giveaway. Win yourself pizza, win yourself computers, win yourself games. No better. Exclamation point giveaway to click on that link. Check it out. Just sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Look at the link. It's in chat. Here. I'll link it again. I'll spam it for you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Check it out. Crucian, if you can, if you could uh, every now and then spam that for people, that'd be awesome. Thank you, guys. Let's get right to the build. Thank you, guys. That was a long news, long news section. Um, in about 15 minutes or so, we're going to have Hacksmith join us here. Shout out to Coca-Cola. For providing me with the soda, <laughs> they didn't really sponsor this team. That's that's just me. I'll do you one better. Tweet that out right now. DX Racer tweeting out the giveaway. My man, thank you. Fake news, fake news. Sweet, thank you, DX Racer. Much love. I just told our, our friends over there that that's happening. That's really, really cool of you guys. Thank you, guys. Um, hi to the people over on Facebook land. For the five viewers that we have watching us there, I don't know what's going on on Facebook. Something must be happening on Facebook. There's never a time on Facebook that we've gone live and we've had less than 200 people watching. And right now we have five people watching us on Facebook. What happened to Facebook? They, I guarantee Facebook changed their algorithms today for their live video. And that's why that's, why that's happening. Or GPC, is it possible to have dual CPU laptop at the moment? No. Um, I think there are some manufacturers that are doing it. I think we have been testing some some builds that have them, but we don't offer it yet. Might be something that we'll offer in the future. Spoonerism, my boy. I don't know what's going on, Spoon. I don't know what's going on, Spoonie. Never shame me on Facebook again. Never. Octopath with the sub. Thank you so much with the sub Twitch Prime. Guys, if, if you're if you're subscribing with Twitch Prime, if you want to see it pop up on screen, I think you have to refresh. Refresh your, your Twitch and it'll have like a button up top that says notify the stream and the notification should pop up. Let me just make sure the notifications are working because I've seen a few come through and they haven't been popping up. Um, let me... Log in. Connect with Twitch. Let's see what's popping while John gets started over there unboxing all these this sweet sweet hardware. Again, if you guys have any questions for me, do not hesitate to tag at Origin PC so I see it. Um, subscriptions, test subscription. Ah, yes, yeah. Teamwork. Okay, cool. Subs are working. Is the stream lagging? It shouldn't be. I hope not. I hope not. The only people that are still on Facebook are the parents of the people that used to be on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. That is hilarious. That is hilarious and so true. <laughs> Let me quit out of Skype. Let me quit out on Skype so you guys don't get confused with the Skype alerts. Last request for Hacksmith, can you give me the Iron Man suit? Man, it would have been so awesome to have you here, Hacksmith, with your full Marvel gear. <laughs> I can't wait to see what crazy concoctions you come up with this with this bad boy. Can I get that PC, please? Mine sucks. Sign up to our giveaway, man. Why don't you use Twitter Live instead of Facebook Live? We are actually going to be doing that on tomorrow's build. I just didn't have time to set it up today, but we're going to start doing that, Twitchaholic. 
Why does John look like a petite Jason Momoa? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, you guys just wait. He's sitting. He's sitting those those weights. It's gonna be ripped. <laughs> Uh, or WC, did you see the smoke from the Everglades that just passed by your place and there was a big smoke cloud? Holy crap, no. Is there something going on? That's I feel not like cool. I feel like there's always something going on over there. With yeah, smoke. I know. The Everglades is <laughs> pretty much always on fire. It's just, <laughs> just gotta, just gotta deal with it. Just gotta deal with it. You guys only laugh when I post something because you're hilarious, bro. Mnemonic, you're a funny dude. You're a funny dude. You're a funny guy. Oh, that that motherboard looks sweet, dude. That's a really cool looking motherboard. There's a huge fire here in Florida. Oh man, that's not cool. Why did your message get deleted? Oh, you can't post the link, D Dustin. My bad. I'll post the link for you guys. Um, yeah. Let me also get. Hacksmith's URL. Guys, if you... I'm sure most of you already know who Hacksmith is, but for those of you that don't, if it's your first time, first time hearing about it, check it out. I can honestly 100% tell you that you've never seen any videos like his. Oh, sweet. Check him out. Shoot him a, shoot him a sub. Subscribe to that fantastic YouTube channel. Florida is lit AF. <laughs> Can it run Crisis? Yeah, I think it could run Crisis. I'll attempt not to spam the question, but I'm genuinely curious. From the perspective of a standard customer, what cost would one expect to incur to build of a desktop equivalent performance capabilities? This one right here, I'm going to tell you this is one of the pricier builds. Reason being, um, it's got ECC memory. It's a workstation build. It's got a workstation motherboard, which are already pretty pricey. It's got a 14 core Xeon, which is incredibly pricey. It's got dual Titan X's, which are super pricey. I don't know the price off the top of my head. I can tell you MSRP wise, it's going to be close to like eight grand, maybe more. Manahotep, what is going on? I can actually, I can actually probably do this myself and figure it out for you. This is one of the more higher tier builds on our website. The giveaway is worldwide, yes. Let's see. We can actually spec one out. We'll do this together. This is fun. I like doing this. I like doing this with chat. L class. We got an L class over here. We got a standard Millennium chassis. Continue. Continue. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, so let's just pretend that's the color. DX Racer, thank you so much for the tweet. Good friends over there. Our good friends over there. All right. Xeon. We'll check this out over here. Lilu, how you doing? Is it safe to use a drill when assembling? For us, it is. So we've been actually, we've been assembling PCs for quite some time. Um, we do it quite frequently. Looks like the RAM and the CPU are in the motherboard right now. Man, look how many PCIe slots that thing has. <laughs> Holy crap. That's insane. Workstation motherboards are so beast. All right. Uh, 1600 watt. Um, I'll get back to that drill question. Let me just do this real quick. I'm trying to figure out the price for this, so you guys, because that's something that's always good to do. People always ask. 360 Xeon. Did I pick the wrong one, man? <sighs> I'm doing something wrong. Next. Ha! There it is. There it is. Alright. Let's try this one more time. I was doing the wrong thing. He's coming into comms later, keep. 1.6. There it is. Azrock. Okay. Um, oh, it doesn't have the right TPU on here. Let's just pretend it's that one. It's much more powerful. 
Uh, dual Titans. Yep, let's go with those because that's a similar price. It's already pretty crazy. It's already pretty crazy. 64 gigabytes. ECC. Also not on here. Um, 500 gigabyte PCIe M.2. Yes. Yes. It's not on here either. What's going on? Oh. Oh. I'm looking at the wrong section. You know what? You know what would be cool? If I knew our own website. That would be awesome. There it is. Cool. Done. Donezo. And then two of them big boys. Big whoppy nose. Yeah. So my guess is pretty accurate. It's about about 8 to 9K. So yeah. Definitely one of the pricier builds that we have on our website. 9K. 9.1. About. Maybe a little bit more. Top end. Top end. Nice. And guys, if you want to join our Discord community, discord.gg slash originpc. Um, we have game nights. We talk tech. Exclusive giveaways, all sorts of cool stuff where the entire Origin PC staff is in there, readily available to chat you up with whatever questions you might have. Um, unless it's like a sales or support question, then we'll direct you to the right avenues. But anything other than that, if you just want to talk tech, you want to see, hey man, what's the coolest, what what GPU do you recommend, Origin PC, or what, what games are you guys playing? Whatever you guys might want, discord.gg slash Origin PC, feel free to join us, we'd love to have you all there. Can it run Minesweeper? Yes. Yes, it can. Definitely. Definitely can. Is this why you haven't been streaming yourself? No, I haven't been streaming myself due to... Well, there's a lot of reasons that I won't get into right here. But I will be back soon. That I can tell you, Mnemonic. Did Domino sponsor this giveaway? They didn't sponsor the giveaway. They did give us some gift cards to give away as well. So they are partners for the giveaway for sure. But the giveaway is actually sponsored by Big Picture Games, the guys who developed Rise of Agon. What kind of laptop would you recommend for me to stream for when I have a decent rendering speed and good artwork? What would the price be? Um, you can actually, if you want to do something low-end just to try out streaming, um, you can check out our Eon 15S. It starts at $999. Um, to upgrade it to the quad-core, which you would need for streaming, it'd probably be around $1,200, $1,300 around there. It's an awesome, awesome laptop for a beginner streamer that's portable. But if you're streaming from home, I'd recommend just building a desktop or getting a desktop from us. Hacksmith, if you want to join uh, up on if you want to join up on uh, Discord, please do. Readily available right now, man. Thirty point five gigabytes of storage. Actually, it's twenty twenty point five. Right? Do the math right. Is my math correct? Does John have an online handle? He does. On Instagram, you can follow him at J-O-N-T-I-F-F-O-R-D. For me, uh, Twitter is at Kuziel, at K-O-O-Z-Y. Oh, you can just see it down here. I don't even know why I'm spelling it out for you. It's right under me, man. I think it's exclamation point social, Crucian. My man, Crucian. Crucian Gaming. Hacksmith, sir. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Good, good. Um, so yeah, we're look look at your PCs coming along quite nicely so far. It looks the desktop gorgeous. stages are good. Wait till you see this guy's cable management. You're gonna be blown away. That's really what makes the makes the people ooh and ah. 
more than anything <laughs> is once he starts putting the cable together. So, my man, tell us a little bit about your channel for those of you that don't know who you are, which is very few people, I'm sure. All right. So, for any of our viewers who don't know who I am and what my YouTube channel is about, is uh, basically I'm an engineer who quit his job to focus on taking fictional items from movies, comics, and video games and making real working prototypes just for you guys. So I think it's a pretty fun channel. There's there's only a few people out there doing similar stuff to what I am, and uh, we've got this awesome workshop, and we show you how we actually design and build these awesome gadgets. It's awesome, man. Your, your videos are so unique. They're unlike anything I've seen, it's always such a pleasure to see what you upload. It's really, really awesome to watch. How long How long have you been doing this now, the YouTube channel? I've technically been on YouTube for 11 years now, though I've only been doing the Hacksmith uh, name since 2013, so almost four years now of the Hacksmith. Awesome. What do you think, out of all your videos, what was, what was the one that really made your channel take off? Everyone has that one. <laughs> Uh, that would definitely be the Captain America Shield project. Yeah, I think sure. we went from about a hundred thousand subscribers to half a million subscribers in just over a month, which was absolutely insane. That must have been pretty crazy on your end yeah. to, to see that. Now we're, now we're sitting at one point two five million, and I think we'll crack two million by the summer. Congrats, man! That's huge. Um, here's I was thinking I was wrapping my my brain last night. I'm like, what what am I going to ask him? What else can I ask him? What I really want to know. I know I know we've seen a, some videos of some crazy things that have happened to you in your workshop that you've recorded, but what's the craziest thing that's happened to you that wasn't on video? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a good question. Uh, I've had a few close calls. Um, so recently we actually uh, outfitted the garage with uh, high quality security cameras mm -hmm. and we did that for two reasons. One, for security and two, it means we're actually going to be able to start live streaming some of our builds because we can literally just use those cameras as the video feed for the live stream, which I think is really exciting. But we only just got that set up recently. So before we did that, there's been quite a few times when we haven't had a camera rolling and some really hilarious stuff has happened and we've missed out on potentially viral videos just because of the antics we get up to in the shop. That's hilarious. So now, so wait, let me get this right. You're gonna, you're, your cameras that you're setting up is kind of to do a 24-hour recording, or just have uh, probably not a 24-hour stream. But what we what we want to do is start doing some one-day builds where we basically do a project from start to finish uh, in one day and live stream the whole event. That's awesome, man. That'd be great to watch. Yeah, we're we're hoping to uh, get big on Twitch's creative channel, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, what? What is it, if there's if you can talk about it? What's like your next project that you're coming up with? Unless you uh, want to keep it a surprise, <laughs> and I understand. The next pa major project that we're working on, which I'm super excited for, is a lightsaber build. Cool, that's gonna be really cool. Oh yeah, um, that's exciting. So it's not gonna be using real plasma like they uh, hypothetically use in comic lore. But what I can tell you is, it will be able to cut through steel. It's gonna sound and look like a lightsaber, and it's gonna be awesome. Dude, I cannot wait to see that. And, uh, oh, I'll, I'll at least tell you this. I'll tell you the power requirements of it. It's going to be using a 150 kilowatt battery pack. What? <laughs> to, to put that in perspective, a North American home, uh, the entire circuit of a, of a house is only about 48 kilowatts, typically. So technically, you, you could not run this lightsaber off of three houses worth of electricity. Wow, that's insane. So th that's why it hasn't been done before, obviously. But <laughs> obviously, you're gonna make it happen. I can't wait. Yeah. So D DX Racer saying, I wonder if Hacksmith can take a DX Racer chair, rig it with a motorized platform, and a pair of tennis ball air cannons. I think I'll have to totally link you guys did. up. I think I'll have to link you guys up. I'll make the introduction. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We we have a uh, Nerf turret chair video coming out soon, but we definitely want to upgrade it as we continue to add more stuff to it. And one of those racing seats would be awesome. Some questions over here. Yeah, guys, so if you have any questions for Hacksmith in chat, um, I don't have them for that long, so please feel free to ask. Just tag at Origin PC so I can see the question. I'll make sure to ask anything. So what's your current rig that you're running with now? What have you been using this whole time? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so we posted a video on our channel which uh, showed a few clips of it, and basically mm -hmm. it's an old uh, server-grade uh, motherboard, uh, two old Xenon processors, and a GTX 1060. Nice. So it, it's all right. Um, it's got some bugs. This yeah. is definitely a, a little bit of an upgrade, you know. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a tad. Someone's asking if there will be a Canada Day party at the shop. <laughs> That's a good question. I do like fireworks. Hadn't planned it, but uh, probably. <laughs> um, another one. When is the next Iron Man update coming? Uh, we're hoping to do an update video on the Flying Like Iron Man project within the next few weeks. Basically, we haven't had any funding for it, so we've kind of had our hands tied for what we want to do. So we're going to do an explanation video about that and basically... It can only continue if we can find either a corporate sponsorship or if the fans come together and help support the GoFundMe project. Cool. Uh, do you have the GoFundMe link? I can link that in chat right now. Uh, sure. It's just GoFundMe.com slash The Hacksmith. GoFundMe.com slash The Hacksmith. Guys, go check that out. See all the sweet stuff. Man, the, you know, the, the whole <laughs> community um, funding thing has been such an awesome, awesome, awesome trend. Um, it's brought so many awesome projects to fruition that probably wouldn't have been possible otherwise. So I'm really glad to see that's taking off more. Yeah, it's a fantastic platform. Uh, let's see. Ask the Hacksmith if he's ever been to Greece. Have you ever been to Greece? I have not, actually. I've, I've been to Italy and most of uh, Europe, but I have not made it to Greece yet. Cool. And so, someone else is asking, if you come back to London, would you do a meetup? Uh, London, England, I assume? Yeah. <laughs> we, we also have a London here in Canada. It's a bit smaller. Uh, but, uh, gotcha. Yeah, we might do a meetup at some point. We're hoping to do more cons and whatnot, um, like Comic-Con and some of those fan expos and whatnot. So we're, we're hoping to tour around a bit in the future. Cool. I'd love to see you out of one of those, man. It'd be great to meet. Yeah, for sure. I was actually just down in Florida uh, last month for a collaboration with uh, one of the universities down there, Full Sail University. Oh, yeah. We've got a Very pretty awesome wholesale. project coming out with them. Uh, basically, some of their students were building a Iron Man helmet complete with a heads-up display that actually did augmented reality what? through the helmet. And it was, it was pretty slick. That is really cool. Uh, let me see. What was that? I missed another one. Oh, that was it for now. Um, ask him if he can, this is from DX Racer, ask him if he can customize a sweet PC gaming chair with a motorized platform and a pair of, yeah, I think I asked him that. Maybe play some IRL Mario Kart. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I just installed a M.2 SD today. Congratulations. I'm sure you're already seeing the inc in incredible speed increase that you're getting. I've told people this time and time again, the best upgrade that I've ever done to my computer um, has been getting an SSD, going from a mechanical drive to an SSD. It was the most immediate change in speed that I've ever seen from any upgrade. And I always recommend anyone, anyone out there do that. It's not even expensive anymore. You can get yourself like a 240 gigabyte for less than 100 bucks or around 100 bucks. Put your OS on there, some of your main programs and games, and you're going to be soaring. PC Master Race? Of course. Of course, PC Master Race. <laughs> specs on the PC. Type exclamation point specs or exclamation point build in chat, and you'll get all that info. How is his shoulder? That's a good question. How's your shoulder doing nowadays? <laughs> Actually, my shoulder's doing pretty good. Uh, I've been seeing a physiotherapist, and it's been about a week and a half since I dislocated it, and they're, they're actually pretty impressed. I seem to be healing quite fast, and I'm getting all my mobility back and slowly gaining the strength back, so hopefully... I'll be uh, shooting grappling hook guns and scaling buildings in no time. Sweet. Another one. Another person asked if you'll be making an electric Del Sol version 2.0. <laughs> uh, maybe at some point. Um, honestly, I just I just want a Tesla. Yeah. If if, if I can be honest with you, like, <laughs> it would be cool to build your own, do another electric car conversion, but mm -hmm. it's it's a lot of work, and uh, it. It, it would basically take up all our time if we were to do something like that. So I think it would be better to focus on smaller projects that everyone everyone can enjoy instead of just me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Out of all the projects you've done, which ones took you the longest to to complete? Um, prob the the Batman grappling hook gun has been going on for quite a while. 
There's a lot more technical difficulties in designing a winch that's faster than anything that's commercially available on the market right. and making it reliable. And we're still kind of working in that reliability aspect. So we learned a lot of lessons than any future grappling hook winches are going to be a lot better than this one. But we have tested it, and that video is coming out hopefully next week. We just have one more building to scale to finish off the video, so it's a super epic video. <laughs> Killer. I've never heard a YouTuber say that. We just have one more building to scale, <laughs> and then the video will be complete. It's like, oh, cool. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm seeing a bunch of questions asking about why I'm getting a PC. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, video editing is actually pretty intensive, and we actually do a lot of 4K shots. So if it takes us 20 hours to edit a video because Premiere keeps crashing, that's 20 hours we could have spent working on a project instead of editing the video. So having this awesome PC is going to allow us to edit things way faster, and we're also going to be able to use it for some complex flow simulation, which is going to help us with the Flying Like Iron Man project. So yes, the PC is going to help us create more projects. How much RAM? It's 64 gigabytes of RAM in both the desktop and the laptop we're putting together. So I'm really hoping Adobe Premiere doesn't doesn't stutter anymore with the 64 gigs RAM. <laughs> I think I think you'll be good. <laughs> I think we I, I'm pretty sure that um, we have a copy here that we could probably test and run it just to make sure everything's running flawlessly on this end before we send it over. We cool. like to run like any every type of benchmark and test everything you're going to be using on it prior to sending it to you. So I'm probably probably going to hit you up beforehand just to get a list of stuff that they are going to be using so we could test it out. Sounds uh, good. Uh, in the YouTube video where I announced this live stream, I was play, playing Overwatch in windowed mode. Uh, that was actually just because the monitor is a 4K screen and uh, it has a challenges playing at 4K. So I was actually playing at 1080 in windowed mode, and the video was just a little joke. So I usually <laughs> play Overwatch full screen. Oh, uh, that's I saw someone ask that. I'm like, I'm not too sure about this question. <laughs> You you were playing it with the 1060 that you currently have that you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, it's running that in 4K is quite challenging indeed. With these bad boys, though, I think you'll be in good shape. Oh, yeah. Will the Batmobile have airsoft guns like the guns on Tumblr from the movie? Somewhere? Most definitely. Uh, <laughs> we're actually think we're not too sure yet between airsoft or paintball guns, uh, but definitely something. How much would it cost to do one of your daily projects? Uh, it's kind of a tricky question because our projects vary quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say on the low end, a few hundred dollars. On the high end, thousands. Like it, it really depends on the project, and you can't really uh, can't really give you an average number. And the other thing is, we have a lot of uh, parts that we get for free from manufacturers as well so it depends if you're including in like the total cost or like how much it actually costs us like th there's a bit of difference and don't forget the labor cost like we are running a business now like we have employees mm -hmm. and we have to pay our employees money so if it takes 10 hours to work on a project that's 10 hours of employee wage as well yeah understandable Guys, for those of you asking, I'm speaking to the Hacksmith. You can check him out on YouTube. Um, let me put the link in chat again. Last I heard, Colin Furs is coming to Toronto, hopefully, I think, next month. So there may be some videos out with me and him. But uh, I need to confirm that. Uh, so, the exoskeleton project, we're planning on bringing it back at some point. Um, not really sure when. The upper body was, that was finished. Like, we, we weren't continuing that one. However, the, the new exoskeleton with the lower body that we used to pick up the DeLorean, uh, that one we're, we'd like to continue, and we're hoping to make that a priority this summer. Origin BC, would you scale a building with the Hacksmith? Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm too tender for such actions. Um I forgot what I was gonna ask you now. Oh, okay. So you're saying that your the the Captain America Shield was the most successful video. Out of all the projects you've done though, which is the one that like you enjoyed the most personally? Uh honestly <laughs> the 
Captain America project was really fun to film, mm -hmm. mostly because I got to run around like Captain America and break stuff with the shield. Such a cool uh, idea. <laughs> but uh, in second place, definitely the Batman grappling hook gun. That was like the the ability to shoot a grappling hook like 150 feet and have it pull you back up. Like I'd say that's our most like legit make it real project yet. Like. I still look at that thing. I'm like, man, this this is awesome. That's sweet. Where do you have it hung up in your shop? <laughs> uh, right now, it's on the workbench being uh, fixed. Oh, cool. But do you have it on display normally, or are yeah. you planning on it in the future? Yeah, we're actually working on uh, adding a catwalk along the side of the garage to display all of our projects. Very cool. Uh, Wolverine or Deadpool? Wolverine. Heck yeah. <laughs> Will the Batmobile have a harpoon like the movie? Yep. Sweet. We'll be making a larger grappling hook uh, gun for that, basically. And the hope is to be able to almost scale like a like a 90 degree wall, basically. Yeah. Um, is there anything, any other plugs you want to do? Um, we got your YouTube on there. Is there any like other videos you're going to be appearing in? Maybe co collabs or anything that no one knows about just yet? Uh, collabs coming up. Uh, there's potentially one with Colin Furs, which is mm -hmm. going to be awesome. Um, beyond that, I don't think I have anything on the schedule. We're looking into doing a few cons this summer, so basically you just got to stay tuned on the YouTube channel. But... For everyone, for anyone else who's like interested in our projects and wants more updates, you got to follow us on social media on our Instagram or Facebook page because that's where we post pictures almost daily. Right, and it's uh, The Hacksmith on Facebook, The Hacksmith on Instagram, if yep. I'm not mistaken. And then on Twitter, it's The underscore Hacksmith, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, there's a Minecraft player who apparently is called The Hacksmith, and he's got the Twitter handle. That jerk. <laughs> I have never been to Croatia, Croatia unfortunately. The heck, Smith? Let me, let me see who this kid is. Let me give him some follows. Huh, he is a Minecrafter. Also, we are starting a uh, vlog channel for more behind the scenes uh, footage and projects that we can't post on the main channel. So I'm just going to grab the link for you. Sure, please do. Post that in chat. You could link it yourself as, as a mod now, too, so you're fine. Awesome. So, yeah, go subscribe to the vlog channel, guys, if you want to see more behind-the-scenes content. Go. Hacksmith Vlogs. Let me spam that up a bit. <laughs> Whoa. And for anyone else who, again, isn't super familiar with my YouTube channel, if you head there and uh, you watch the featured video on our page, it shows an entire mont an awesome compilation montage of all the random gadgets we've made. And if you're curious about how I do YouTube, there's another video called My First Year on YouTube, from 50,000 subscribers to 1 million. And that explains everything about the journey, how I quit my engineering job and took YouTube full time. How nervous were you at that point when you were making that decision? <laughs> that must be so nerve-wracking. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. Did you feel I, pretty? I, you felt pretty confident at that point. Uh, not necessarily for YouTube. I only mm -hmm. had about seventy thousand subscribers, which is nowhere near enough to quit your job for. Right. Um, but I had some other businesses I was doing part time. I was doing some freelance work, so I was I was able to make the money in other ways to survive while still focusing more time on YouTube which has now paid off and now it's a fairly big channel and hopefully we'll grow even bigger. That's great, man. Congrats on all your success. That's, that's just awesome. What is your next Overwatch build, someone wants to know? <laughs> uh, we're actually thinking... What's your character? The laser bazooka. I forget the name of the character. One sec. <laughs> no, uh, but basically we're doing a laser bazooka. Uh, it's the the big uh, the Russian lady. I forget. Yeah, the Russian too. lady with the pink hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're doing that that weapon, <laughs> and it's oh, gonna be sweet. awesome. That will actually be able to like 
light things on fire from a huge distance away. We're basically using one of the 80 watt industrial laser tubes that I use in my CNC laser cutter, and we're making Zarya. it portable. Z Zarya. Thanks for yeah, that. Zarya. Yeah. Zarya. Uh, first year of engineering school is typically the most challenging, followed by second year, and then it gets a bit easier in third and fourth year. Which SSDs are you putting into the machine? We're putting in a 960 Pro MVME M.2 SSD. Um, and then the other two hard drives we're putting in are two 10 terabyte Seagate Barracudas. Those are mechanicals, not SSDs. Can we hit up on the social? Right on. I won't take any more of your time. Hacksmith, thank you so much for jumping on with us, man. Much appreciated. No um, guys, shoot him a follow. Again, congrats on all your success. It's been going great for you. I can't wait to see more. Feel free Thanks, to hang man. out and chat with us. Uh, I look yeah, forward I'll, to seeing I'll these PCs finished. And field questions through the text chat. Cool. Awesome, man. Thanks for, talk Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. See ya. Cool. Very awesome to have him there. Thanks again, Hacksmith, for joining us. Um, thank you for all the awesome questions, chat. Much love. Let's go a little bit while John's doing this stuff, and now that we ended that, let's talk about the specs real quick for those of you that are new. Um, we're building a desktop right now. The desktop is a L-Class desktop. It's part of our Pro line. Uh, it's a black millennium case, an EVJ Supernova 1600 watt G2, the ASRock X99 WSE motherboard, Frostbite 360 liquid cooling, Intel Xeon E5 2680v4. That's the 14-core Xeon processor from Intel. Big thank you to Intel. Dual 12 gigabyte NVIDIA Titan X Pascals. 64 gigabytes Kingston 2400 ECC RAM. Two 10 terabyte Seagate Barracuda Pros. A 500 gigabyte Samsung 960 Evo NVMe M.2 SSD. The 10 gigabyte Star Trek PCIe network card. Next, we're going to be doing the laptop. The laptop is the NS17. Um, it's a 17X notebook, a 120Hz G-Sync 1440p display, Intel Core i7-7700K, single 8 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. Now, that is the desktop grade 1080, so it's the same speed you'd find on a desktop you'll be finding in this laptop. It's phenomenal. 64 gigabytes, 2400 megahertz RAM. Uh, 500 gigabyte 960 Evo NVMe M.2 and uh, the same wo Origin PC wooden crate armor. Um, again, tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be doing another live build. This one's a mystery live build. Ooh. Um, I can tell you it involves a giveaway. I can't tell you who it's for. Obviously, it's a laptop by the picture. I can't tell you what it's all about yet, but stay tuned. It's going to be shocking. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. I can't wait for you guys to, to see it. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, sign up to Twitch Prime. If you're not using your free Twitch Prime subscription, you could use it here in this channel and at the same time support the children of St. Jude. Much love to those that have done so already. Um, again, if you're doing it with Twitch Prime, for some reason Twitch has it, so you have to refresh the channel, hit the button on top to send the notification through so we can see the notification. I have seen you guys do it. Kingslayer, there you are. Thank you so much for this, the sub push that through make sure to push that through speaking of giveaways sign up right now worldwide giveaway with Darkfall Rise of Agon the boys over at Big Picture Games my good friends are launching this fantastic title one of my favorite MMOs of all time if not my favorite MMO of all time Darkfall it got shut down it was ran by a different company eventually and they sold the license Big Picture Games picked it up as true fans and decided to put actual work into this MMO that deserves so much, so much exposure. It doesn't get the credit it deserves. Guys, check this out. If you're a fan of PvP, if you're a fan of MMORPGs, if you're a fan of first-person shooters, if you're a fan of thrilling gameplay, if you're a fan of having a good time, <laughs> and if you're a fan of pizza, then... Everything, everything you need is on the link that I'm about to put in chat. Giveaway. 
You have a chance of winning a PC. You have a chance of winning game time to this epic, epic game worked on by awesome, awesome people. And you have a chance of winning gift cards for pizza. I mean, you can't go wrong, guys. Sign up now. And right back to the build. Gonna do so now. So our man over for those for those of you watching on Facebook, which isn't many, I'm gonna restart the stream in hopes that more people come in. There must be something wrong. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's go not live on Facebook. Shut that down. I don't know what's going on. That is the first time that's ever happened on Facebook. So we're live only on Twitch right now. Fan fantastic. I'm getting a phone call from Dilly, Texas. I don't even know Dilly was a place in Texas. Let's get to know. All right, let's try going live on Facebook again. Let's see if this works. Maybe I can take that off. Pull this off. Start broadcast. Hashtag PC Master Race in the chat. All right, let's see if that works now. PC Mustard Race. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. All right. It looks like it's getting a bit more traction on Facebook. Not, not entirely sure. Again, hello, Facebook friends. Thank you for watching, all 12 of you guys. <laughs> this is the first time. Pizza Master Race. Now we're talking. So, guys, if it's your first time here again, Swan 2 Shadow just subscribed. My man. Didn't you just win something recently? You did. You want a laptop from us. Congrats again. Congrats again, and thank you for the sub, dude. Much love. Much love. Facebook is dying. It seems like it. Something's going on over there. Something's happening over there. Hello. Water cooling hard tube? No. So this is a, we're using a sealed liquid cooling unit. Um, these are actually my personal favorites when it comes to liquid cooling. Um, they're extremely, extremely efficient. Very, very easy to install. And you don't have to do any maintenance on it whatsoever. It's just a radiator attached to some hoses, attached to the CPU cooler itself. It's a constant loop. It's really, really phenomenal. Loot Crate. Is that the real Loot Crate? Is that really you, Loot Crate? It is really you, isn't it? Fantastic. Let me mod you guys. Good to see you, Loot Crate. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for popping in, boys. Boys and girls. You are modded. Thank you for joining us. Much love. We always love watching a good build. When are we going to build you guys a PC, Loot Crate? That's my question. That is my question. A box is going to appear like magic. That'd be awesome if I just had one here. Like, speaking of, let's talk. All right. Reach out to us on, on the Twitter. I believe we follow each other. We should. If not, yeah, we do. Perfect. Feel free to reach out. Spot to me. How do I subscribe? Um, so you can subscribe later. Night play. Have a good one, man. You can subscribe there, or if you have Twitch Prime, you got to link your Twitch Prime to your Amazon Prime. Would love to simul stream on our own Twitch as well. That'd be fun. That'd be awesome, man. Definitely doable.
This is so confusing. Why? Okay. 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 Oh no, that's right. This has been happening. This has been happening on. Uh, this is a Streamlab issue. I've seen people on Twitter complaining about notifications. I'm sorry the notifications for the subs aren't popping up. If I've missed you, do not feel ashamed to call me out and say, Hey, Koozie, what is up, man? I just subbed and you didn't call me out. Thank you so much to Swan2 Shadow, who I saw already. Did I miss anyone else recently? No. But if your subs notifications aren't popping up, it's an issue with the notifier. So I apologize for that, but I'll make sure to pay attention to chat and call you out. Also, if you've donated, have you don has anyone donated? God, let me check Tiltify. Please, no. Please don't tell me I've missed donations. The donation link for St. Jude, by the way, guys, is down below. Again, not required to do so. But know that it's going to a good place. It isn't, it isn't going to my pockets, unfortunately. Cool. I haven't missed one. Badass Dexy, yeah, man, we tried. Um... We haven't been in touch with him lately. I think he kind of excommunicated us. It sucks. It's very our support's very easy to deal with. Extremely easy. I didn't sub. You can still call me out. Of course, Phantom. Call you out all day, man. Just for being here. I subscribed. Yellow Strader. Doesn't look like it, but thank you, man. <laughs> Which main board? This is the Azrock X99 WS E. If I'm not confused. What's the most expensive build you've ever done? So this is a question we get asked probably every single live build. Um, it. I wish I knew the price off the top of my head. It was around 50000 I think. Or maybe maybe less. Probably less. Um, it had over 50 fans in it. It had an ab absurd amount of hard drives. It had four Titan X's. It's when Titan X's were there. Uh, it had a custom mo a custom case that was built, had to be built from the ground up. The case was as tall as I am. Um, it was massive. It had LED lights all through it. It had a complete custom paint job. It had it was liquid cooled. Uh, the motherboard, the CPU, the GPUs, all liquid cooled. Um, ah yes, team. <laughs> ah yes. May the fourth be with you. Origin PC CEO with a 25 month subscribe. Thank you so much for that. Supporting the kids as always. Our own if our own boss man can sub to support the children. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, not looking at Discord chat. No, I turn off Discord chat during the live builds to avoid distractions. I only have a direct communication with my main guy who's feeding me the Facebook comments if any pop up. How you doing, Koozie? Doing good, Swan2. How are you, my man? Congrats again on the win, dude. Very happy for you. Very happy for you. You're going to enjoy the heck out of that PC. How expensive is the computer? This one's around 9K. This is one of our high-end, very high-end pro lines. Made my day seeing myself over on your Origin PC family board. Awesome, Kingslayer. Yeah, man. So we have Kingslayer, what he's talking about. We have um, a, a bulletin board here that's in our hallway, and we have one in our warehouse as well, so there's actually two. I only showed the picture of one. Um, but it's it's basically our Origin PC family board. And whenever there's like an awesome post that comes through or an awesome tweet, an awesome email, a handwritten letter, anything that we're like, oh, this is really sweet of this person. This is really awesome that they did that for us. We post it up there just to like show everyone in the company what a kick-ass community we have. And we do have like one of the best communities. Strongly believe one of the best communities out there. Um, absolutely love all you guys. You guys show great support to all the charities that we support. Uh, you give us so much love. You're always here during the builds and fantastic group thank you guys for everything can you make a build with uh, motherboard ram ssd gpu cpu liquid cooling we can except for the ssds and the ram i don't think we've done that i mean we've tested it but it just hasn't been worth it for us right now i think the only options on our site and I, I could be wrong is to liquid cool the gpu cpu and motherboard Just about done with finals. Time to relax. Awesome, Swan 2.
Legendary Vigilante, how you doing, buddy? Is it possible to just buy the Genesis case? Unfortunately, no. Uh, you can only get our cases by purchasing an Origin PC. What's your name? My name? It's right down here. <laughs> there, there isn't an easier place to look than right below me. Where's your 1080 Ti, Koozie? Ugh. Ugh. Don't start with me. Don't start with me. I was already convinced me to get a 1080. When I had a 980 Ti, I didn't need the 1080. And I got it. And now everyone's asking me the 1080 Ti question. Do you guys pre-install programs for customers also? Fantastic question. Answer is only if you ask. We will never ever install. We don't believe in bloatware. So we'll never install anything that you don't directly ask us to install when you purchase a PC from us. The only thing you would get when you get your PC if you didn't ask us to install anything is your drivers and windows. And that is absolutely it. Um, you have options on our website to install like Steam and... Um, you play and all that stuff you can also call your sales rep and say hey this is a game that I play that's not on your website but I want you guys to install it for me because I don't want to download it we'll be more than happy to do that for you as well give Jacob at EVGA a shout out what a shout for a TI oh yeah Jacob's our homeboy I have believe me I've asked him a million times <laughs> How do you install Windows? Uh, same way anyone would. Well, we have install files here. And then we have all our different uh, keys. How much is the best PC you guys have? That's kind of a rough question. Um, since our PCs are all custom built, basically you go to our website. You can go to originpc.com. You select the PC type you want. There's different categories. There's different cases that we have. Uh, the Millenniums are most popular. So let's say you went into the Millennium. At that point, you choose what type of board you want whether it's x99 or z270 are the two available right now for the gaming side so let's say you went with z270 from there you'd pick hey uh, do i want the i5 7600 do i want the i7 7700k do i want uh, amd cpu um you can go with uh you pick your gpu you pick how much ram you want you pick the amount of hard drives you want you pick the color, you pick the color of the cabling, you pick the PSU. So it's completely completely custom built to what you want it, to your preference. At that point, we put it together for you. So the price is very obviously. It's all dependent on what your needs are and what you want for the PC. Thank you, Kuz. I'm fine. By the way, today's my father's birthday. Well, happy birthday, Dad. Just returning from the city uptown, but I was watching you mobile. Never thought there are people like Hacksmith exist. Dude, awesome videos, right? Very, very happy to be working with him. Do you have laptops? Yes, we do. We also have laptops. We carry laptops and desktops. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. The new Neuron case before the laptop build? I think we actually might have one. If anyone is watching that has a Neuron case available, can you bring it to the room so I could show it off on camera? That'd be cool. What would you say is a good PC to buy for... A good PC to buy 1080p 144Hz gaming. Uh, right now, man, the main thing with 1080p gaming is the GPU, right? And right now you can get away with 1080p gaming with even a 1050 Ti, which is like NVIDIA's lowest 10 series card right now. Actually, a 1050 is, but could still do 1080p gaming pretty flawlessly. So 1080p gaming is very, very easy to do nowadays. Uh, get yourself a quad-core CPU to just be safe. Um, get yourself 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Get yourself a 1050 Ti if you want. You can go higher, 1060, go even higher, 1070, go even higher, 1080. 1080p game is going to be phenomenal. You won't you won't spend more than a thousand maybe for a good 1080p gaming PC. Do you have service in the UK? We do ship worldwide. We don't offer localized support in the UK. 
the um, we would be able to ship to you. Our 24-hour lifetime customer support phone, phone line will be uh, available to you as well. Um, we just don't offer localized support, so that's the one thing. Where's the SLI bridge? John has it somewhere, I'm sure. You guys want to see it on now? There it is. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Slide. Speaking of EVGA, are you only get, uh, building gaming PCs? You do build PCs, let's say audio work or anything like that as well. No, we do both. So this is actually part of our pro line. Um, this is called the L class. You can uh, go to the. There's different categories on our website. There's a gaming category and professional category. Under the professional car category, you can see what you're looking for. Do you think uh, i7-4790 is good for gaming and streaming? Yeah, LED, absolutely. I actually used to have that before my current build. That was my CPU, and I would game and stream on it. For your laptop cases, do you guys do custom paint on them too? We absolutely do. Origin PC, can you dab? There you go. <laughs> Is this the most expensive build you've done as a sponsorship? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. This is not. It's up there. Definitely up there. <laughs> the artwork on Bajira's Origin PC is amazing. It looks so good. Awesome, Cravey. I'm glad you like it, man. Yeah, we have uh, really, really cool paint schemes that we've done. We actually have, if you go to like, let's say, you go to the Millennium page that we have, where it shows up the Millennium or the Genesis page, you can see we have like a, a paint Ga gallery at the bottom and you can see different paint jobs we've done it's not all of them obviously there's t a ton more but we've been keeping it up to date now so you can see some examples of paint jobs we've done in the past since we have Luke Crate can we get some codes for the St. Jude charity stream ooh good question I'll definitely reach out to Luke Crate for that and DX Racer and all thems all our partners Can I become a cool kid by bathing in cool lance liquid? <laughs> I would recommend it. I don't know if it would make you cool. I guess it would make you temperature wise pretty cool. Do you ship them to Finland? Yes, we ship to Finland. We ship worldwide. Can I get a front view of the case? Sure, John, can you give him a front view of that case real quick? Like this front view? Yeah, I guess that's the front view. Yeah, I think the front front view. That's what it is. That's our origin O. Um it actually lights up with whatever RGB lighting is in the case as well, so. <laughs> Read my username, Frick You Kuzi. How dare you? <laughs> I'm actually quite honored that you made that username just to troll me. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Frick You Kuzi. Frick You too. <laughs> go, f go frick yourself. <laughs> or WC, do you sell graphics cards individually? No, we do not. We don't. What is your current setup? My current setup here or at home? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume you're asking my at home build. So at home, I have a 6700K. Um, I have about two terabytes of SSD storage. I have a 1080, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM in a Millennium, Origin PC Millennium. Is PC building a viable career option? Absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be where you should stop. Um, PC building is a good entry level position into. A bunch of different fields like for example John started as just so did I we started as just PC manufacturers but then he got bumped up to technical marketing which is where he's in now because of his superior building skills so there's room to grow it's a great great first step to get in this field absolutely wow that mustache 10 10 <laughs> by the way do you know if Hacksmith is open for collaborations he's in chat I don't know. I wouldn't. I, w I wouldn't dare know. Do you guys ship to Brazil? Yes, we ship worldwide. Have you seen a Terry Crews old spice build? Absolutely. What's up, good Ernest? How you doing, man? Hi, Origins. I really thank you for the giveaway, even though it's hard to win, but it's free worldwide. So that's so generous. Thank you, Sherball. That means a lot, man. That's a, a, a refreshing change to the other comments I receive. <laughs> May the fourth be with you, Cravey Guy. Do you torrent? No. I would never do that. Ne nev never. <laughs> Is shipping free? No. <laughs> no, Jeff. 
<laughs> Come on, man. World wide. Tell him what a sexy beard. He knows it. I don't have to tell him. This build has a Nick still, right? Yes, yes. You want to show him the graphics card? I mean, the network card real quick? Yep. Are you building Jarvis? We sure are. Look at that. Bad boy right there. That's a 10 gigabyte. What is it again? The Hold on. I have it written here. Swip, swip. 10 gigabyte StarTech PCIe network card. Good to see you, man. How are you doing today? Doing awesome, dude. Thanks for asking. How are you, my friend? What can be a budget PC build from you guys ranging around one uh, fourteen hundred? So you can either start if you want a desktop, you can start at our Kronos. I believe that starts at around twelve hundred bucks. That's the starting price. Um, if you're looking for a laptop, you can look at the Eon fifteen S. Starts at nine ninety nine, not nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Unfortunately, nine hundred ninety nine dollars, but still pretty good start. PC is too dink, so we've heard. Oh no. Okay, uh, this just in. I'm sorry, guys. Tomorrow's live build is delayed. So tomorrow we will not be having a live build. Uh, stay tuned, though. Maybe we'll do something tomorrow since we've already promised. We'll figure it out. We'll figure, we'll figure it out. I apologize for that, guys. Breaking news. This just in. First time we've had to delay a live build. I, I, I really apologize, guys. But we'll get you more information. Stay tuned to our social media. We'll make it up to you, I promise. Would you hire me? I need a job. You can actually apply if you're really, really interested and you're in the Miami, Florida area. Um, please email careers at originpc.com with a resume. You can also go to originpc.com slash careers to see what positions are available. But even if a position is not available, doesn't mean you can't apply. Always send your resume because we have a nice stack that we like to keep handy in case we ever need people. OriginPC, I will step up and receive a sponsored PC tomorrow to help out. Thank you, Kingslayer. Always looking out. Always looking out. This guy and his cable management. Unbelievable, isn't it? None better. None better. None better that I've seen. And I've seen tons of builds. John is 10-10. Open, open challenges. We're opening a challenge to any other PC builder out there. You think you got what it takes? You think you got the chops? <laughs> That'd be a fun stream, dude, to get like a random... Pick a random person that thinks you're good at PC building and have them compete against you in an epic PC build face-off. In the works. Jotting that down. I'm jotting that down. John is like Dr. Cable Management. What components should I buy to maximize sound? Sound card. Sound card, definitely. Epic PC, but epic PC battles of history. John Tifford versus George Washington. Wow. Well, I am sure you will be back, and hopefully on a day when I'm not at work. I don't want to sound selfish, but I really hate to miss any of your streams. Ah, oh, legendary. That's awesome, dude. Thank you. You want to sponsor me? I have 24 subs. Uh, let's talk, buddy. Let's talk. What's your highest CPU overclock? Uh, that's a good question. You would probably know that. What's the highest one we've ever sent to a reviewer? That's the, probably the highest one we could talk about. Um, <laughs> I would say 5-1. Five 5-1? One. Five one? Yeah. yeah. Safe. Safe. Five one. We've definitely gone higher than that, yeah. but it's not something that we would send out because it's dangerously high. <laughs> <laughs> so the ones we can talk about, definitely, definitely that. Could you tell John that his cable is God? That he is a cable god. He should know that. He he knows that. Believe me. His new name is John, comma Doctor Cable Management. Will a US will a USB headphone benefit from a high end sound card? No, it will not. Cable Man speaks. 
Jarvis looking good. Are you hiring? Uh, I'm not too sure. You can you can still email a resume to careers at originpc.com though. Please be a good resume. Don't just email saying, "Can I has jobs, please?" I can has jobs, please. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold you to that, Legendary. But I doubt there's anyone better out there. Boom. Record time? What? No, no. Ah, <laughs> close? Nah, uh, I still have the Frostbite and this side to manage. Ah, close, close-ish. What's up, Flat Baby? Good to see ya. How much is Evo 15S Ultra Gaming? Uh, the Evo is about 2500 I think, maxed out. You guys are very rare. You give giveaways. When you hit subscribe, you give it to charity. Is this, a comp is this company Angels in Disguise? We like to think so. We like to give back, man. Honestly, our, com our, our community is the driving force behind everything we do. Charities are a given. I mean, honestly, the reason we even work with St. Jude's today is because they flew us out to their hospital. Me and my CEO... Uh, for the summit they did out there and we got to see everything firsthand normally charities man You know, I'm always a bit wary of them. You never really know where the money's going But st. Jude does something cool where they'll take you out there and be like look This is what your contribution does and the families out there the families that are part of st. Jude don't have to spend a single dime and st. Jude I believe um, from what I've read online like any they have the highest percentage of a dollar that you donate that goes to the actual charity itself that goes behind it think about a, a a hospital where the patients get everything for free they get housing they get fed for free and all their medical expenses are absolutely paid for think about how much that takes to run so gr granted it's been around for a long time it's a massive charity um, but every little bit helps because um, there's still you know not every family can get into here and they can just open it up to more and more people uh, the more you give so never feel obligated to do so but if you're ever like man you know what I want to give back a little st. Jude's a great 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 charity to do that with and you could donate right here right now if you look below there's a donate to st. Jude button through us to help us out in our play live campaign or you can subscribe to the channel and that goes to st. Jude as well When you order a PC, how long does it take for the bill for it to be built and then posted? Uh, depends. Depends on the build. That's something your your sales rep would tell you when you order it. Black Burton, how's it going? Order PC can I ask you a question. Ask away. The floor is yours, my friend. You guys ever doing a laptop with a curved screen? Haven't. Hasn't been brought up yet. We may. Everything's a possibility, man. We never lock ourselves out of anything. After this PC, you're continuing to build a laptop? Yep, this is only one of two today. Can I have a free PC? How did I know that was the question? Got me. No. Well, hold on. Maybe. How about that, Eric Hood? Maybe you can have a free PC. How, you ask? I'm glad you asked. Sign up right now for the Origin PC Kronos giveaway with Darkfall Rise of Agon and Dominoes. First place wins a Kronos gaming PC valued at $2,400 and a $50 gift card for Domino's Pizza. And 30 days of game time for Darkfall Rise of Agon. We're doing this to celebrate the launch of Darkfall Rise of Agon, which comes out tomorrow. Guys, if you've never heard of Darkfall, man, if you're an MMO, if you're an MMO player and you've never heard of Darkfall, I'm not surprised. It, in its first run, it didn't get enough press or publicity as much as it deserves. Right now, though, this company, Big Picture Games, bought the license for it, has been developing it for a while. They're finally releasing it tomorrow. It's an absolutely phenomenal game. And they've 
purchased this Kronos to give away to your their community and ours. How awesome is that of them? So, if that's not enough to make you check them out, I don't know what is, but go check them out. Absolutely deserving of all the praise and lovelies. Check out the game. It's fantastic. Give yourself a chance to win a Kronos. Make a circular laptop go crazy. That would that'd be awesome, man. If it just surrounded you, you can just type like, like Neil Peart playing the drums. <laughs> Send him a Raspberry Pi. It's still a PC. You're right. It is. Kizzy, what's the most creative thing you have seen someone do with their shipping crate? To probably the guy that turned it into a uh, an incubator for baby chickens. That was pretty cool. What would you suggest is a good budget PC? Depends. Are you, if you're building it yourself or you're buying it from us. Koozie song name, please. Is I'm I'm listening to Monster Cat by the way, Monster Cat Twitch. It is uh, Bon Voyage, or maybe Bon Voyage is a band. Yeah, Bon Voyage is the person doing it, and the name of the song is Drolo. D R O E L O E. What's your cheapest PC build right now? It's our Eon. 15s. Have you ever had at least two systems in one stream or three? Because I cannot remember. I think we did one before. Me and John were talking about that. I don't know if John was building. It might have been a very long time ago. But I'm pretty sure we did a desktop laptop build in the past. I can't find the giveaway. Yeah. There you go. Why no Omni hype all in one? Man, our <laughs> Omni gets all the hype. Do we still? Are we still selling it? We are, right? <laughs> our all in one's cool. We actually did a live build for one of those too. We've done a live build for everything, haven't we? For those that don't know what he's talking about, by the way, our Omni is the all in one that we offer. This ain't your. This ain't your parents' all in one. All right. It's not that hunk of junk they brought home. That's just a screen that they put in their kitchen and they watch funny Facebook cat videos on, all right? It's not that. No, sir. This is the first gaming all-in-one, all right? It's completely customizable. It can fit up to a 6950X, up to a Titan X, in an all-in-one. It's, it's something you can take apart yourself and upgrade yourself as well. You can put up to two SSDs in it, I believe. It's also liquid-cooled CPU. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a sales pitch. I'm like the worst salesman. I'm really tired. Also, FYI. Um, let me see if I can get the... I want to get the monitor specifications. They're here somewhere. Thirty-four, thirty-four inch monitor? It's crazy. 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 Budget PC, in terms of building it yourself, you can probably build a really, really phenomenal one. Or one that, if it's if it's really budget, you can probably spend around 700 bucks for a good gaming PC. You guys should make a YouTube video on how to replace the coolant and the water cooling of your computers. Humpers, fantastic idea, man. Fantastic idea. Can I get a shout out from the awesome guy building the PC? They want a shout out from you, John. Oh. <laughs> His name's Error Code. Area Code? Error Code. Eric Code? Error. Error Code. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Error Code. Yeah, Keep there it is, man. And enjoying this live build. Boom. We make we make everyone happy here. We're here to please. We're here for you guys. Are there any student plans or they need for studying? I don't think we have anything like that in place. Uh, you might want to contact our sales and find out, though. We have done stuff like that in the past. How much power does this beast consume? It is a 1600 watt power supply. So quite a bit.
How many builders do you have? A ton, man. Don't really have an exact number, but it's it's a fair amount. We've grown pretty... In the past couple years, we've grown so much, so... Let's just say I don't know everyone's name anymore. There was a time I knew most everyone's name that worked here. Now there's every day I'm like, oh, who's who's this? Hey, you want my wallet, man? Love your computers. We love you, man. Dank memer. Have you ever made your ship to Hackintosh? No. No, we have not. We have seen the project done, though. I just don't think it's, like, entirely legal to do unless you have Apple's permission to use their OS for it. So, no, we've never done it. We just we don't want to touch that. You guys are owned by Lyric, right? Sure. Sure. <laughs> we sponsor Lyric. That Lyric buying Origin PC was an April Fool's joke we did two years ago. <laughs> and people still believe it, which is great. So, yes. Yes, we're on by Lyric. <laughs> How much would this build cost? It's uh, around 9000 when we priced it out. So, Origin PC, what you're saying is that the Origin PC all-in-one is what happens when a robot lion helicopter and the power of gaming love is fused with the energy of the universe multiplied by memes. Pretty much. I really couldn't have said that better myself. Pranked. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. I have a question for Hacksmith, if I may. How does he deal with the copyright infringement of all the builds? I think he's still in chat. Yeah, there he is. Are those new or old Titan X Pascals? These are the Titan X Pascals, not the Titan XPs. Illuminati confirmed. Hi, 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 hi. All right, cuck on. Come on, man. It was funny the first two times. What are you doing to me over here? Can you rotate this beast? Oh, he will. He's just working on the cable management right now. Kima, what is up? How you doing, my man? I see your message, dude. I haven't had the chance to check it. I've been I've been strumming this whole time. Let me uh mod you right quick, my brother. That PC looks neat. You look neat. Thank you, bud. Cool build. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. What's your favorite anime? Oh, man. I don't really watch anime, to be honest. I've seen a few anime films. My favorite one of those films was Akira. I'm sure it's like a super common. Everyone likes Akira. But yeah, I loved Akira. Ninja Scrolls was pretty cool, too. Ghost in the Shell was pretty badass. Or did you see we're making that Origin Arena? Sh Ooh. Really? So you got in touch with... Uh, you got in touch with Tom Tom? That's good to know. The music is too low, ten percent up, please. I can do I can do that for you. I can make that happen. DC or Marvel? Tough. You know, the younger me would have said Marvel all the way. But DC has been doing some pretty cool stuff, so I'm pretty pretty even split between the two. I still like my favorite comic book heroes are still Marvel characters. 
Do you let John build only rigs over 5k? Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> He builds, he builds anything that's for marketing purposes, like this or review systems. You need to watch Death Note. Death Note's a cool one I've heard of. I haven't seen it, though. Which cards are in that build? Titan X Pascals. The PC gaming show is returning to E3 2017. Fantastic, man. It's a good show. I went to... Wait, it was there last year. I, I was there. I went to the PC gaming show the first year. I mean, I went to the PC gaming show in 2015 and last year into 2016. So I'm sure it'll be here 2017 as well. Or WC, are you ready to see the Hacksmith turn his PC into something else in a month and completely ruin it? It's going to be hilarious. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited to see that. How dare you reveal my plans? Do you do high school internships? We have. Um, you can always email careers at OriginPC to find out if that's still going to happen. I'm pretty sure it does. This is the Titan X Pascal, not the X piece. These are just a tad bit. These are about 10% 10 to 15% more powerful than the 1080 Ti's. These 10 to 15% more powerful than the 1080 Ti's. And they got coup de course to the max, so perfect for professional work, perfect for hacksmith's purpose purposes. Great for gaming and great for work. These are best of both worlds. What are the specs? Glad you asked. <laughs> the specs for today's PC build is the Hacksmith L-Class desktop, Black Millennium case, EVGA Supernova 1600 watt, G2, ASRock X99 WSE motherboard, Frostbite 360 liquid cooling, Intel Xeon E5 2680, 14 core CPU from Intel, dual 12 gigabyte NVIDIA Titan X Pascals, 64 gigabytes, 2400 megahertz ECC RAM, Two 10 terabyte Barracuda Pros uh, from Seagate. Thank you very much to Seagate. Thank you very much to Intel. 500 gigabyte Samsung 960 Evo NVMe M.2 SSD. A 10 gigabyte StarTech PCIe network card. We're also going to be building a laptop right after this, so stay tuned. It's the uh, Eon uh, 17X, which is the NS17 on our Pro line. A 1440p 120Hz G-Sync display. i7 7700K, a single 8GB NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 desktop grade GPU. 64GB 2400MHz RAM. A 500GB Samsung 960 Evo NVMe M.2 SSD as well. Fantastic stuff. Builds all day. How much is the laptop? The laptop... I think I want to say around 3400 to 4000. That is also a very high end laptop. Maybe maybe it's either going to be around that price or a little bit lower. I'm probably going to build my own PC, but I want your case. What should I do? Tough call, man. The only way to have our case is to buy one of our PCs, so... Uh, so... Uh, I don't know. Well, I wouldn't be able to answer that question. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> How quiet are the laptops? Uh, pretty quiet. You know, most, most laptops are just inherently loud because of the form factor and uh, fans. But they're not... It's not like super crazy loud. It's not going to break your gameplay I, I never noticed to be honest and I'll tell you why um, anytime I'm on a laptop I'm a hundred percent on on headphones so I never know um, but we've done like when we did the Eon 15 s stream when we released it which was like two weeks ago um, it didn't I was watching the stream and it didn't come out on stream and I had the microphone pretty close to it so I, I gotta say it's pretty quiet I'm assuming this build is for con content creation absolutely Scott absolutely correct how are you doing, by the way, my man? Do it. 
What's the least expensive PC to buy from Origin that includes your case? Let's see. If you like this case right here, the way to do that is you'd go to you'd go to hold go to our website, go to gaming at the top, click on Millennium. Okay? Once you're at the Millennium page, you can click on customize. Okay? You pick um the orientation continue pick standard of course leave everything at default or change the color continue the tech kit would have to be oh from here from the tech kit you can see the h270 starts at 1713 the x99 starts at 2138 and the amd 8350 starts at 1748 so 1713 is the least expensive you just select that click continue that's the default price Uzi. That's it. it is complete. The desktop is finished. You can spin it around slowly. There it is, Hacksmith. Your L class. Origin PC L class Pro line is finito. Let's put on the panels on that bad boy so you can see the finished look. It looks beautiful. Jarvis. Jarvis. We love you too, Enderminx. Love you, buddy. See you later. How much parts are there? Uh, what do you mean? I'm good. I hope you are well. Hope to see you at TwitchCon in October. Tickets and hotel books just seems... Oh, man, Scott, that's awesome, dude. I would love to meet you, dude. I should be there, Scott, so definitely we'll see each other. That rip sounds good, right? What are the specs? You can type exclamation point specs in chat to see it. That comp can practically play Quake Champions for me. Speaking of which, challenge. That's right. Man, tonight's the only time I'm ever going to play Quake Champions. I still haven't installed it. Tomorrow, Darkfall Rise of Agon comes out. So, tomorrow... Tomorrow till the end of time, you guys will probably never see me again. All right? I'm going to be so immersed in Rise of Agon. Boom! There it is. Beautiful. Fantastic. Awesome. What's up? Oh, the network card. Damn it. We're missing one thing. No one look. Everyone turn around. We're just kidding. You guys sell the FTW edition of the 10 series GPUs? We do not. We do not. It does have lights, yes. Complete RGB lighting, which you can control with your phone. We have an app available. Or your tablet. We also have a control that's on it, and there's also software inside the desktop itself. He had one job! <laughs> Hello, I'm French. Hello! Hello, French. I'm Koozie. That was such a dad joke. Yeah, now it's done. Huh? Eat that, Kima. You ship to Europe? Yes, we ship worldwide. Hello from the Netherlands. Awesome. Hi, Miner. Nice to meet you, man. You know what? We seem to have a very international crowd here. Here's a, here's a game I like to play during the live builds while John sets up for the next build. We're not done yet. We're building a laptop next. Um, so while John sets up for this, here's something I like to play with the audience while you guys are waiting. If you guys grab your phones, take a picture, go outside your window, snap a picture wherever you are. It could be dark outside. I know a lot of you guys are on the opposite side of the world where it's nighttime right now. It's fine. It's fine. Grab your phone, 
take a picture of the outside and tweet it to me at Kuziel. My Twitter's right down here, right at the bottom. I'd love to see where y'all are from. You guys can tweet me PC questions too if you have any, whatever you want. Use use my Twitter as your how-to guide for PC anything. That's right, tell everybody. But I love to play that game, and I love to see where y'all are from and what what your uh, what your view looks like. Are you guys with the dark side? Shh. It's only something a rebel would ask. Spy. May the fourth be with you, my friend. Can you hand deliver a PC? I live 11 minutes from you on foot. <laughs> we would be able to hand deliver it, but you can definitely come pick it up from us. Hello from Denmark. Hello. Hello from the Netherlands. Whoa, man, you guys are from all over the place. Germany, Egypt. Wow, England. Sweet, man. Sweet. Hello from Dith, Dith, Dith Martian. Where's that? Hi from Germany. Sweet. Israel, and it's midnight. Nice. See, I knew it. Belgium. Cool. This guy could no doubt do an Alec Guinness Obi-Wan impression. Perhaps. Lithuania, London, Puerto Rico, Belgium, Finland, Australia, Lithuania, Sweden, Boston. Get out of here, Boston. <laughs> Get out of here, Boston. <laughs> I love Boston, man. It's one of my favorite cities here. Narnia. Get out of town. Pasadena. <laughs> Uranus. Uranus. Hi from Florida. That's what I'm talking about, fellow Floridian. What's the giveaway link? Type exclamation point uh, giveaway. Bulgaria. Antarctica. You lie. I know where you're from. Missouri. Get out of here, Missouri. Pinellas Park. Sweet. There's the giveaway, boys and girls. Sign up. Link is in the chat. Your seller. <laughs> oh, God. No. <laughs> Los Angeles represent. What's up, Blue Crate? You guys got to make your way over to Miami. Next time we're in L.A., we'll visit your facilities. Next time you guys are in Miami, come visit ours. It'll be fun. Guys, sign up to our giveaway. Tweet out about our giveaway. Show us some love. Tell your friends about the giveaway. It's a chance to win pizza, a PC, and PC games. If that's not the best giveaway for an awesome, awesome game, Darkfall Rise of Agon. Rise of Agon .com. Check him out. Hello from Springfield, Oregon. Cool, man. Come to the Origin E3 after party. Damn, now I feel bad. This is the first E3 I'm missing. I have uh, prior family engagements and I won't be able to make it to this year's E3. Which, you know what? Oddly enough, I'm kind of excited about and I'll tell you why. I've been to E3 for the past two, three years. I think two or three years I want to say three years but it's been, which has been great E3 is like the best show it's the one I used to watch from on TV and, and stream all the time um, but I've missed out on every press conference I've missed out on every announcement and it's because I'm there and I'm working this is the first year where I'm finally going to be home and being able to watch it on Twitch or online it's going to be pretty cool it's going to be surreal. We're just about to ask you for a guest list, though. You can talk to Tom Tom. Sick Gaming Live in the house, my man. Sick. Sick. What is that check? What does that check sign mean next to your name? Does that mean you're also a streamer? Happy birthday, my brother. Have you ever participated in a game jam? Not too sure what that is. Hi from Hawaii. Hawaii. What CPU do you use at home? I have a 6700K. Kappa. No one brought the neuron case. I know that means, you know what that means? I like to do that test cushion to see if anyone's watching our streams. That means no one here is watching our streams. All I wanted was a damn neuron case and a glass of water. No one brought me anything. Huh? 
Who? What? Internet died. Sorry. No, Hacksmith. Hacksmith is gone. Let me borrow it. Thank you for that heads up. Let's go back to the other chat now. Bam! Face! The check mark works. <laughs> Signed up for the giveaway suite. Guys, please, please tweet out about our giveaway. Tweet it. Tell your friends about it. The power went out. We'll be back in a few minutes. Hacksmith Industries. Thanks, Banhammer. Much love, man. Vision Banhammer in the house. Much love, buddy. Thank you for that. Hey, Kuziel. Meant to tune in earlier, but got sidetracked playing Final Fantasy 15. Slaying Dragon, good to see you. Thank you for stopping in. Hello to you. Hi, Mr. 101 Squirrel. How you doing? Do you have a YouTube, by the way? Myself? Yes. It's not anything important. I've deleted every video I had on there because I want to start fresh. They weren't any good anyways. They were just clips from my stream. Actually, I think I think I have new ones up. It's Kuzi Lawless on YouTube. Kuzi Lawless, like Lucy Lawless, but Kuzi, isn't that clever? I didn't think so either. We also have the Origin PC YouTube. It's just a bunch of crappy Darkfall vids. <laughs> what are the specs of the PC? Um, they're right here. You can type exclamation point specs and exclamation point build. The desktop we just built was this one but now we're building this laptop here hello i'm from hacksmith permission to assist mod on the stream also do a shout out to banhammer my bad banhammer i'm just seeing that best shout out to vision banhammer from the hacksmith team much love thank you for being here thank you for hanging out I don't know if you saw that because now the internet's out over there. How often do you live stream on my channel? I haven't. I haven't for a while. Um, I had some personal stuff happen at home, which is the reason I haven't been streaming lately. I am planning on getting back into it. Uh, the Origin PC live streams happen usually once, twice, three times a month. Sometimes it all depends on who we're working with and what live builds we have going on. It is going to become a more frequent thing. Um, we are planning on doing a live show that's going to be like a weekly type deal. And that's going to be coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. Just follow us on our social media and you'll find out when we're going to begin. It's going to be everything from gaming news to gameplay to all sorts of cool stuff. You're not the Hacksmith. You're right. You're absolutely correct. I am not the Hacksmith. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Hey, I'm a Hacksmith fan. Well, thank you for tuning in. Can I host a live show? You can come join me. You can definitely be a special guest on a live show. Oh. Oh. So this is how a laptop's built. First of all, that's the inside of our laptops, if you're ever wondering. I'm excited for Rise of Agon. You and me both, zombie. Zombie, are you a DFO player, or is this going to be your first introduction to Darkfall? That's a great question, because I'm so excited to see new people try Darkfall for the first time. That's what I'm really, really amped about. Because this is a game that not a lot of people know about, especially not a lot of uh, gamers nowadays because it's somewhat of an older game. So I'm excited to see all the new people they get to try Darkfall because it's such a competitive, awesome PvP game. And like, it's such a. The PvP is so heart pumping. Like, I've never, I've never played a game where I'll get into a fight with another player and start shaking and start sweating because of how nervous I am. And this is the only game that's ever done that for me. So I'm really excited to see everyone's reaction to this killer, killer title. Riseofagon.com. Plug. Origin actually got their name from the EA game thinking, wrong! <laughs> Believe it or not, we were first. And then EA Origin came out. But the Origin name was actually... Here's, here's a little bit of history. A little bit of history for you. 
Origin was actually a company started by Richard Garriott, who created Ultima Online. He he made this company um, when he started the Ultima games, and Ultima Online was a huge, huge, mega hit title. Um, EA then bought Origin, so the Origin name was under there. Origin Systems, it was called. Uh, they didn't use it for years. We launched Origin PC after our founders left Alienware, after the Dell buyout. They started Origin PC, and it was kind of like the origins of PC gaming, which is why they stuck to that name. And then, like, a year later, EA was like, Hey, we're doing this uh, our new gaming platform. It's called Origin. Check it out. Almost with the same exact logo as us. So we're like, what the hell, man? Are you serious? We, of course, couldn't do anything because we're just a tiny company compared to EA back then. But now we're super cool with EA. We've done giveaways with them. and You know, no harm, no foul. Two totally different things. You go to EA Origin to buy video games. You come to Origin PC to buy computers to play those video games. Do you hear that casinos are starting to change their slot machines to eSport rigs? Yes, I have heard this. I have heard a lot of things that maybe a lot of you guys haven't heard of. How you like that? I'm on the inside, baby. I'm on the inside. But yes, I know. And it's going to be a very, very big thing in casinos in the future, I think. I think gaming in casinos is going to be a very, very real, very popular thing within the next few years. How do you like that? You heard it here first. Dome, what's going on? Laptop Jarvis. Yep, this is the laptop Jarvis we're building now. Do you mean EA Origin copied your idea name of Origin? No, no, that's not what I mean. They didn't know that we had our thing. Heat sink or hint sink? Heat sink. Who's building a laptop then? This is John Tifford. Still here. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> we need desktop Jarvis. Desktop Jarvis has been built already. Can you get a camera angle on the desktop real quick? Just show it off. Yeah. There's a desktop right there that was just built a little bit earlier. We have finished it, and now we're doing the laptop. All right. Oh, I missed out. It's cool, man. You can watch it. We're going to upload it on YouTube after. He could be a hand model. He's uh, People have said that in the past. <laughs> he does the hand motions. He, I wonder if you, like, do you sit home and practice it. <laughs> no, I don't. He does the hand motions. <laughs> I'm in front of the mirror. Your girl's like, dinner's ready. And you're like, you mean this dinner? <laughs> <laughs> How big of a YouTube channel do you need to be sponsored? We don't have a general size. We don't have like a, you need this many subs to be sponsored or whatever. We try to work with everybody. We just have different levels of working with people. So even smaller YouTubers can reach out to us and be like, hey, you know, I'm interested in partnering up with Origin PC, and we'll find a way. We'll give you an offer for sure. Whether or not you take it, you know, it's up to you, but we try to work with everybody. Are all your PCs hand-built or only the ones you do on live streams? All of our PCs are hand-built. All of them. Customers, reviews, sponsorships, all that stuff. I can vouch for this. <laughs> so let me just let me just be clear because I feel like I'm gonna get spammed if I don't. We don't give free PCs to everybody, okay? But we find a way to work with you. We have an affiliate program. We offer small discounts to streamers, stuff like that. Depending on your your levels, you know? It depends. We'll find we'll find a way is what I'm saying. But don't think that just because you have a YouTube channel, you're going to get a free PC, bud. That's not how the real world works, all right? You got to put in work. Nothing in this world for free, yeah? It's my mafia voice. It's still showing the desktop build specs. If you type in specs, it's actually, if you notice, check it out. Exclamation point specs. The first half is the millennium. And then the second half is the Eon 17X. The last like two lines are the laptop specs. Are you the boss of Origin? No, no, no. I am not the boss of Origin.
I'm just the boss. I'm not the boss of Origin, I'm just the boss, man. I'm the boss, baby! <laughs> I've never made a PC. Any recommendations for the one I may start soon? Fantastic question. Um, PCs are awesome to build. They're a lot of fun. If you're a first-timer, it's a lot easier to do than you'd expect. My recommendation would be to watch YouTube tutorials. Uh, Specs-wise, go for something simple, man. You don't need... You don't need the... With the technology nowadays, you don't need to... Um, break the bank to have a pretty decent gaming PC. Um, look for recommendations online. Uh, there's an awesome website called PC Part Picker where you can spec out the PC even if you don't know what's compatible with another thing. That website will tell you. It also has you can you can um, do it by price, do it by power, uh, so you can see what the the most affordable is for what you're looking for next. And um, they have recommendations on there. It's really really awesome. PCPartPicker.com. Check them out. Not sponsored, just use that site quite frequently. Darkfall launches tomorrow, right? Absolutely miasma. It's alright, the jig is up miasma. Everyone knows everyone knows I'm promoting them now. <laughs> but yes, Darkfall Rise of Agon launches tomorrow, riseofagon.com guys, go check them out. We're running a giveaway with them right now. Exclamation point giveaway. There is there is the link to sign up. Um you can win a Kronos gaming PC. You can win 30, uh, 30 days of game time for Darkfall Rise of Agon. You can win a $50 gift card for Domino's. Second place gets a $25 gift card. Third place gets a $25 gift card. Each of those places gets 30, 30 days of game time as well. And the seven subsequent follow, follow, uh, runner-ups will also get 30 days of game time. Rise of Agon. Check it out. The best MMO I've ever played in my life. I'm telling you, man. If you guys like... PvP games if you like competitive gameplay check this out right now there's nothing better man it's the only game I've ever played first of all the community is fantastic you build such bonds there um, because of the type of game it is I mean it's a full loot PvP game so any loot that you have on you if you die out in the world anyone that kills you can loot it that's the type of game this is that's why you get the shakes what I like to call the shakes when you get in combat you, you get you, you sweat profusely because you're like, crap, I don't want to lose any of this stuff. But it's so intense. It's so heart pumping. You're never going to have an experience like it, man. If any of you guys have played games like EVE or Ultima Online or Albion Online, even newest one now, then you kind of know what I'm talking about. You kind of know the feeling you get. Just Darkfall, the combat is perfected, man. I just, I love the combat. It's like first person combat. It's actual skill based. So you have to aim your arrow shots. You aim your spells. You aim your melee shots. It's super fun. Check it out. I can't, I can't say enough great things about it. I love it. I love it. Do you prefer Mac or Windows? I prefer Windows. Hacksmith uh, Industries lost internet connection, so they're not not here right now. But most of them should be back, hopefully soon. Darkfall hype. Wes, my man, how you doing, Wes? Any recommendation for video editing around 1K? I don't really understand the technical difference between a gaming PC and video editing PC as far as the internals go. So at that budget, uh, not much is going to be different. Um, for video editing, you're looking for just a, a pretty good CPU, right? So get yourself a quad core, an i7 preferably. Um, that's going to be your bulk of your cost. If you're not going to really doing a bunch of gaming, then you can either do onboard graphics. If you're not going to do any gaming at all, you can go onboard graphics with an i7. An i7 7700K, so you don't even have to pay for a GPU. You can just do graphics that's on the CPU. And that's basically just to see what's going on on screen. Not recommended, but still doable. Um, if you put all the CPU power to do all the video editing for you. Um, if you do want a GPU for a little light gaming and even more power to go into the editing, then go for like a 1050 Ti or a 1060. Uh, a lot of RAM, 32 gigs would be preferable for something for work like that. Uh, hard drive space, you're going to need a lot of it. So I'd go with mechanicals for affordable and more space. Four terabytes, five terabytes, stuff like that. Should be should be around that price point if you do it right. My dad says he prefers Max because you get more performance for the price. Alright, dad. I'm not going to say anything bad about your dad. Are you trying to, are you trying to troll me right now? Rifle Legos? 
Are you trying to bait me into fighting your dad? Because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you know, there's benefits in both Macs and there's benefits in PCs, man. PC is definitely for where gaming's at. But do not be mistaken, PCs aren't only for gaming. If you're a video editor, photo editor, you can get a lot out of your desktop, out of your Windows PC. 1010 bait, homie. <laughs> when does the giveaway end? You have two weeks to sign up to this giveaway. Macs make you Apple dependent. There's a lot of benefits to having a Mac, man. I just, I've never been a fan of Macs. I've never liked the UI. I've never liked the OS. Do you have builds for CAD? Yes. In fact, this is this very desktop that we built earlier. It's probably going to have some CAD run on it, I imagine. Apple employee. Huh. Bait, mate. <laughs> I'm back. There's Hacksmith. I'm just kidding, Rifle Legos, by the way. I haven't seen you say anything. I hope you didn't take me seriously. I love you, man. Come back. Is every laptop in the world handmade or machines make them? Uh, we're probably one of the few companies that does handmade. How can I improve my chances of winning the giveaway? Um, make sure that you sign up to every part of that giveaway. Follow everyone and everything. Um, I should make it so people that work harder for it. For the next giveaway we do, I'm going to add something so you could refer friends. That's a, that's a good, decent way to increase your chan chances. We tripped a few breakers on the experiment. Now the internet's back. Good, good, man. Is Banhammer back? I wanted to give a shout-out to Banhammer. I saw a message from him earlier. Shout-out to Banhammer from Hacksmith Industries. Wait, what giveaway? I'm glad you asked. Oh, what have I done? No, delete that. Ha! Huh. No, cancel. Delete this. There you go. Sign up to the giveaway right there. Boom. Crucian's got you. Wait, Crucian. You can't spam it too much. I missed all the questions. Hold on. Or did we see how soon will these bad boys ship out to Canada after the build? So John takes them now after he's done building them. Um, integrates them. So puts the OS. Uh, loads in all the drivers. Then he benchmarks it for the foreseeable future. <laughs> We run it through the grinder. We literally put it through the most strenuous stress tests out there. Um, and then we're going to run the programs you're going to run on it. Make sure it runs flawlessly and then we'll send it to you. So I'd estimate a week and a half to two weeks at most. I'll invite my 9,000 imaginary friends to that giveaway then. Hey, as long as those 9,000 friends follow. We're good. If those 9,000 friends visit OriginPC.com and shoot us a follow, we're good. You like that? You like that? I like it. You look younger. I don't know if it's the glasses or the hat. Probably the hat. Probably the glasses. Where, I'm Mick loving it. Where do you where do you acquire your parts, dude? Is it is it done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it didn't yeah. have much. That was fast. I didn't even realize how quick that was. <laughs> Fantastic. Agent Gwyn just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Can we get a hashtag for the kids in chat? Thank you so much for the subscription. Much love, my friend. <laughs> round of applause. Round of applause. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Gwyn. Um, dude, Gwyn, if for some reason the notifications haven't been working, I think it has something to do with Streamlabs, but just so you can test it for me, can you please refresh and then a button should appear at the top of the chat that says click here to notify or to announce your subscription and just see if it works. I missed the desktop you did. It's okay. We're going to show them both off. We're going to show them both off.
I've watched the entire stream. I haven't w missed one second. Dude, you're amazing. Thank you. I don't think I've even watched the entire stream. I don't think even I've been that active. I have to fix my stupid thing. Like I mess around with things and I ruin it all. La la la. There she is. There she is. The beautiful, beautiful laptop. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, ain't it? <laughs> there it is. There it is. The beautiful hand motions. Let's get a let's get a nice shot of the laptop of Jarvis Mobile and Jarvis Jarvis and Jarvis Mobile. There it is. There they are. Where do you acquire your parts? Oh, from all our partners. We got our parts directly from Intel. Our CPUs directly from Intel. Hard drives directly from Seagate. Um, GPUs directly from EVGA, Nvidia. Uh, motherboards directly from Asus, MSI. SSDs and such directly from Samsung. RAM directly from HyperX. Everything from my partners. Noise. There you go, guys. There you have it. Thank you so much for hanging out and thank you for tuning in to this awesome, awesome live build. Don't forget to check out Hacksmith, Hacksmith Vlogs, right? Is his vlog channel and then um, his main channel. You can link those right now if you want, Hacksmith. Um, again, before we sign off, let me talk a little bit about what we got going on. Check out our promo on OriginPC.com. Jump to Lightspeed with forceful upgrades. You get free hardware. You get free games. Up to $350 in value. Check it out, please. Check it out. Twitch Prime, my man. Twitch Primes, guys. Uh, Twitch Prime, if you have Amazon Prime and you don't have Twitch Prime, you're doing something wrong. You could link the two. That gives you a free subscription every month to your favorite streamer. And if you don't have one, use it for a good cause, sub to Origin PC, and those proceeds go directly to St. Jude. If you have a free sub and it's just sitting there anyways, might as well use it for a good cause. Do it for the kids. Hashtag for the kids. Giveaway Darkfall Rise. I know I've talked about it all stream, but I'll continue talking about it. Darkfall Rise of Agon is launching tomorrow. And to celebrate that launch, we're giving away a Kronos gaming PC and some gift cards for Domino's Pizza. Fill your belly with delicious pizza goodness. Fill your brains with epic PvP fun. Fill your desktop with high performance gaming power. All with one link. Crucian Gaming is linking in the chat right now. Make sure to sign up. Make sure to sign up, friends. And that's it. There you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out. Again, my name is Koozie. That is at Koozie L on Twitter and Twitch. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Tweet at me. Troll me. Ask me PC questions. Whatever you want to do. Make sure to follow John. My man John here on his Instagram. That's at J-O-N-T-I-F-F-O-R-D. Make sure to follow Origin PC across all their social media. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Make sure to love one another. Hacksmith's links are in chat right now. I'm going to spam the crap out of them. So if you haven't followed, if you haven't subbed, subscribe to both of them YouTubes right now. Boom. 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 I love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for tuning in. The The social the social links both are social medias, bud. bud. All right? Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. All right? Take care of yourselves. Please. The weekend's coming up. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see most of you in Darkfall. Don't turn your back to me because you're going to get you're gonna get slashed up. All right? And I'm going to steal all your items. That's how this game works. It's a doggy dog world out there. I can't wait to take all of your gold. I love you guys. Have a great night.